Formerly the British Protectorate of Northern Rhodesia, Zambia is a landlocked tropical country in South Central Africa. Roughly the size of Texas, Zambia has less than half of its population with only 11.5 million. The majority of Zambians live in rural areas and earn an average annual income of 450 US dollars. Despite open elections and free markets, Zambia has moved from being potentially one of Africa's richest countries at independence in 1964 into one of the world's poorest countries today. A colonial legacy, mismanagement, debt, frequent droughts, disease, the AIDS epidemic, and famine have all contributed to the country's tribulations. Despite these overwhelming barriers, there are current efforts underway to reverse the tide. One example is World Vision, an international non-governmental relief agency working in nearly 100 countries around the globe. They have found success partnering with local communities to find lasting ways to improve the lives of children and families in poverty. This adds credence to their unofficial motto of offering a hand up, not a hand out. World Vision's organizational support ranges across a spectrum of needs. For example, sharing recent agricultural advances and technical expertise helps Zambians to produce crops that are more drought resistant. Other accomplishments include the creation and maintenance of this sustainable fish farm, to the development of community food banks that help generate needed income for families and offset the frequent food shortages. Individual donor support also supports initiatives in health, education, and water development. A monthly commitment of $35 to sponsor a child and their family will provide food, health care, HIV and AIDS counseling, and educational opportunities. This is particularly needed in a country where over 1.2 million people have died of AIDS, resulting in 47% of the population being under the age of 15, with the average life expectancy of 38. <laughs> Other needed contributions include the direct purchase of educational supplies, livestock such as cows, goats, or chickens, a fishing kit, and mosquito nets that can prevent malaria, which remains the largest killer of children under five. Currently, just over half of all Zambians have access to fresh water, so drilling deep freshwater wells is a much needed larger project. Other larger commitments include providing schools, health clinics, or community centers. One community in need of this development is the Quenje Zone in Makungwa. Quenje is located about 50 miles from Chapata, Zambia, a city on the Malawi border, home to approximately 300,000 Zambians. With parts completed over time since 2002, a clinic, staff houses, latrines, and community center were constructed. The Zambian Ministry of Health equipped the health center with medical equipment, beds, and a doctor. A motorbike, supplied by World Vision donors, enables staff to easily go long distances to offer services to the community. Patients now enjoy the comfort and warmth of bedding, which they did not have before. A shortwave radio enables the clinic staff to communicate emergency cases with the provincial hospital in Chapata and to call for an ambulance. Most children in Quenje are unable to go to school due to a limited number of suitable and accessible school facilities in the zone. For many children, the nearest school is about nine miles away beyond a stream that floods annually between December and March. This daily journey is not only difficult and dangerous for the youngest children, but it has also resulted in drowning when children try to forge the swift currents. To address this problem, in 2004, local community members established a new community school for nearby children on the other side of the stream. The school currently serves approximately 220 students, 90 boys and 130 girls. 
At this time, classes are held under the shade of trees and in a few grass-thatched structures built by the community. Teaching is provided by parent volunteers who have received instruction via RFI radio and have successfully passed exams. Yet, they and their students currently have no access to learning materials other than those supplied by relief organizations. The policy of the Zambian Ministry of Education is to allocate teachers and learning materials based on the number of school buildings built to government standards. Given that these structures are open to the elements, lack latrines, and the nearest source of clean water is a mile away, this community needs our help to secure full-time teachers, books, and educational materials that we simply take for granted in America. The needs for the children in this community dictate the construction of two one-by-three classroom buildings, four houses for teachers, latrines for both teachers and pupils, and a deep water well. As a power line bisects this school community, the school potentially has the ability to tap into the power line, which would also allow night school and adult literacy classes. This is truly a joint venture with the community. Donor funds are used to dig the well and purchase cement, doors, windows, rebar, trusses, roofing materials, and compensate the masons, electricians, and master carpenters. The parents will make all of the bricks that are required for construction and literally dig the foundation footings by hand. The resulting infrastructure will enhance the quality of life, the self-worth of individuals for the entire community, and educational opportunities for a better tomorrow. While currently serving 200 children, the goal is to provide a quality education for nearly 500 children from 1st through 7th grade from all 11 nearby villages. Through the efforts of parents teaching their children to making bricks for buildings, the Zambians understand the value of an education in creating a brighter future. Providing a solid education for a new generation of Zambians in Quenje builds a tangible hope for their future. The community members of Quenje are eager to build the infrastructures needed to help facilitate a quality education for a growing number of children. With our help today, the people of the Quenje area of Zambia will create their own future and enjoy the benefits of a higher quality education, greater community stability, and a better standard of living. Zika, 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 Zika,